early walk this morning. I could not sleep last night. I have a feeling I know why, but I uh, couldn't sleep last night. And uh, I was laying awake in bed. We, the breakfast room doesn't start for like 90 minutes, 7.30 or so. And I was like, I gotta walk today anyway. Let's just get up and do that. Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. It was hot last night. I don't know why. The house was set correctly, but I was hot. I was warm. And then the other thing is that we've been sleeping every night for the past two months playing a, uh, a white noise uh, song on Spotify. And last night Mal was like, I want to try pink noise. So we found a playlist on Spotify. It's like an official playlist called Pink Noise. It's all these different songs, which was a little weird, but I was like, yeah, it'd be fine. And they like flow into each other pretty well. But I think those woke me up because even though they're all pink noise, they're all just different enough that some of them are a little jarring. Um, and at some point, well, multiple points in the night, I remember waking up because it changed so much. So I think I need to pick one and put it on loop or just go back to the white noise because I, I wasn't having any problems with white noise. Maybe Mel was, I don't know. I'll have to talk to her about it, but I can't do that again because that did not work. So this is dinner that we're having tonight. <laughs> when you're trying to finish up the stuff you have. Because we had charcuterie. For everyone earlier, all right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, we're having a bunch of meat and, and cheese just because um, we had gotten stuff for um, gingerbread stream, which mm -hmm. what, what day was that? Was that Sunday? Mm -hmm. And uh, this stuff is going to, you know, this it's been open, so it's going to begin to go bad. And with the holidays coming up, and everyone currently out of town, because as of today, actually, everyone is, everyone's gone. Uh, it's just Mal and myself here. And, uh, you know, we'll be gone for, for Christmas, but otherwise we'll be back. It's a very short journey for us to head to Myrtle Beach. So um, we're just trying to finish this stuff up. I don't know that we're going to finish this stuff up. That looks like a lot of cheese. I thought we just put saran wrap over it. Yeah. If we don't. We'll make some progress on it tonight. Sit and watch a show and eat some things. Wanted to tell a little story um, because uh, <laughs> the the mail system failed us in a in an interesting way. And uh, because we we managed to av avoid what would have been a, an even worse situation only because Mao thought ahead. Here's the story. So when Mao and I left our old place this summer, when we, when we officially moved out, we took all of our stuff out of the house. However, Mao left our new address on a post-it note and put it in one of the drawers, just in case that any of our mail was delivered to the old address, maybe someone who lived there would see it and could potentially send it our way. We set up mail forwarding, which is something that we always do. And uh, we figured, you know, hopefully everything will be forwarded successfully, but in the event something goes weirdly wrong and it doesn't get forwarded, hopefully the folks that get it will maybe forward it to us. So flash forward to today. We've actually gotten stuff forwarded, so. Stuff the forwarding been has been working. Yeah. yeah, we've gotten forwarded stuff. Mm -hmm. So it has been working. Anyway, uh, flash forward to today. We received a letter in our mailbox, and it was from our old address. And we were like, oh. So we opened it up, and inside there was uh, a letter that we had gotten from the IRS, which was a fairly important letter to receive. If you ever get any sort of correspondence with them, you're, you're kind of like, oh, I need to definitely read this. That had been sent to our wrong address. 
which is really confusing because we've lived here for over six months. And I think we may have even gotten something yeah. from them here. Yep. Which is even more perplexing why then they sent something to our old address. So they screwed up. But then also our local mail back home screwed up because it should have been forwarded to us and it wasn't. So it was sent to to them. And uh, they actually, they sent a little note with it and they're like, you know, I was going to mark this return to sender and then I remembered that note you left. So here is here is your mail. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and I'm like, really appreciate that. So that little note that you left in the drawer helped. Yep. Uh, it also makes me go, what the heck? Because uh, the IRS should have our updated yeah, uh, they should. address. And then also, why didn't they forward our mail, which is a thing that they should do. Um, so it, 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 so many questions, so many questions. But I'm just glad that Mao had the forethought to, um, you know, to leave a little note in the drawer because we ended up getting mail today that we needed because of it. So good thinking. That was really good thinking. That was really smart. I hope that doesn't happen again, but I appreciate it. I told Mao, I was like, maybe we should like just mail back like a $5 bill. I think we should. I think we should just mail back like a $5 bill just to be like, hey, thanks. Because like it cost them postage and it caught and they took the time to actually do it, which is very very nice. Um, so that might be a, a nice way of being like, "Hey, appreciate you doing this." And also, I hope this never happens again. But it wasn't supposed to happen in the first place. Our mail was supposed to be forwarded. So, well, how mm, how mm, how long is mail forwarding? At least a year. It's a year. Mm. It's not six months. It's six months for periodicals, I think. Because we have not gotten the notice of it's coming to an end yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's six months, we might be around that time. No. But yeah. Um, well, even if it... It's still it's still not quite six months. So they just screwed up. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's totally fine. Anyway, um, you know, if you're moving, maybe just like put your new address in a drawer or something. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Because it can happen to you. All right. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. If you're uh, privy, you'll notice that I'm still wearing yesterday's clothes. I, I wore yesterday's clothes to, to work out, to take a walk. And then I was like, I'll get home and I'll take a shower. And instead, I got started on work. And I never did that. And I hate that. But also, that's, that's a very me thing to do. So after I eat, then I'll finally get a shower. And I'll feel better for tomorrow. And I'm very, uh, very excited for tomorrow because um, tomorrow's stream is uh, Mal and I racing in Earthbound, which is something that we've only done one time before. And it was years ago and it wasn't live. Uh, so this one's going to be live and we're actually going a little bit further in the game. And I'm super excited for it. Made a special layout for it and everything. And that's going to be a fun time. Thanks for watching. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we? <laughs>